Hello YouTube, we're out on our first RV trip for the year 2022. Sharon and I are on our way to Blydenburg Campground in Hobog, New York, that's out in Suffolk County. It's a beautiful spring evening out here in Suffolk County. We're staying close to home these days. We're in Site 26. So here we are, Blydenburg Campground. Two. I'm here with my beautiful wife Sharon and her faithful dog Bella Bear. Where's my belly? There's my good girl. Alright, we just got her leveled up. X trucks are in, stabilizer jacks are down, doors are open. We are full of all the goodness that you'll find in a toy hauler at the beginning of a vacation. It's a beautiful sight. We're gonna have nice shade in the morning. Sun's gonna be rising over there in the east. This is a water site only, there's no electricity, there's no sewer. So we've got our blue belly and our generator. This trail will take us to Stump Pond. We're probably just gonna hang out a little while and go back. I still like, we're calling for some rain in the next hour or two, so we don't wanna get too far away from camp. Yeah, there must be some serious water coming down here. Blydenburg County Park Stump Pond Trail. It's a loop trail, about 5.7 miles, depending on how you do it. A lot of little side trails you can take, like this little guy over here. They run right along the shoreline. A little fishing spot. This does look like a natural spot to put a canoe in. It's perfect. Yeah, right down there, that's where the, uh, the canoe launch is. These are beautiful right here. Looks like something's about to bloom. Not much wind for old glory to be blowing by. All right, they do list the speed limit. All right, look at how nice the, the rig looks all snuggled into these evergreens. Check out the truck with the canoe on top. It looks perfect. We're hooked up to city water. We have the generator running. It's a rainy day, so I put up a tarp. It's just a, a 10 by 10 nylon tarp. Yeah, so we're sitting at our chairs, looking out the windows. We're staying relatively dry, just the corners getting a little bit wet. Just a Sunday night in the campground, sitting by the campfire. What a good girl. Monday afternoon, we're killing a little bit of time, coming down to the shore. Take a little walk, get some exercise. It's supposed to be stormy later. Come on, Bella, let's go out to the end. Oh, there they are. What's that? Is that a swan? Come on, Bella, where's the water? Go check it out. Good girl. Good girl. All right, we keep running into these beautiful spots along the pond. This is Stump Pond, part of the Nessequag River in Suffolk County. And I think it's like Brookhaven or something like that. Uh, one time, years and years ago, the Blydenburg family dammed up the Nessequag River at the source and formed a, a pond, leaving a whole bunch of stumps exposed on one of the coasts. Uh, hence, it got the name Stump Pond. And this is just one of many little places where you can stop and take a rest, sit on a bench, have some lunch, watch Bella dance. Uh, it's a 5.7 mile loop trail that goes around Stump Pond. We're going to try doing that today, I think, Bella and I. All right, this trail lets out onto the main road through the park at the dog runs and the dog park. This is one of the bigger parking lots in the area. On the weekend it does fill up. There's two big dog runs, or they call one a dog park and one a dog run. All right, so we're in the woods. We're on the trail around Stump Pond. The time is 10.40 on a beautiful blue skied, warm spring day. I think we're looking at about 72, 73 degrees and sunny today. If you're interested, you can scan this and get access to the trail map for Blydenburg. Little offshoot trails that Bella always wants to take that can take you right down to a fishing spot usually. Or even a trail that runs along the coast for a while here or there. But they get really thick and I'm not a big fan of bushwhacking in Suffolk County. 
I want to stay right in the center of a clearly defined trail. Me. Funny. Very, very funny, Bella. Quite a few people on the trail today for a Tuesday. On a positive note, very little garbage. People seem very well behaved here, take care of the place. It's a very natural setting, not a lot of signs, not a lot of garbage cans and all that. It looks very clean. Uh, we've come to uh, a public roadway there. I'll look it up and put it up on the map for you. A lot like the stream that I grew up on, on the South Shore. There you go, have a drink. Hey, it's 20 minutes to 12 on Tuesday. We're smack dab in the middle of our loop around Stump Pond with Bella Dog. Lots of mud on this side. So far, not too many bugs. Sit like a good girl. Sit. This is a horse, Bella. It's not a dog. <laughs> it's the biggest dog she ever saw. And there's a weird thing on his face. Hello, beautiful. Be quiet, Bella. Nice and easy. That's so cool. What a beautiful horse. We're just about on the opposite side of the pond from the campground right now. We started way down that way. And all the way around the pond. You okay down there, little dog? Stay. Be quiet. Hello. Shh. No barking, Bella. No barking. Beauty as this really is. <laughs> She's going, you're not gonna ride me home, are you? <laughs> P2034. Okay, that's the way home. Well, you stay. I don't know if this is illegal to go through this or not, but looks like a great spot to do some fishing, though. Eight anglers paradise. This is a pretty little scene, huh? Well, this would be a shortcut if you didn't want to go see that little pink cottage, uh, the farmhouse and barn. Cool little boardwalk. Really smell the bog. Life. I think I've tired out Bella. Hey. What a cutie. Easy Bella. <laughs> Good girl. Hi, you got a cutie? It's okay, Bella. It's all right. Take care now. Beautiful dog. Come on, puppy. Let's go. Isn't this nice? Well, what a scenic spot to do some brook trout fishing, huh? Why don't we just sit here and relax a while? Isn't this nice? Let Bella go for a dip. Wild section, fishing permitted, fishing regulations, brook trout all year, catch and release only. Let's get back to camp. It's down that trail. Now it's about 10 after 1. On Tuesday, we're coming around to the end of the Stump Pond Loop Trail. Alas, there's a car and a road. Yep, we're back. Uh, welcome back to Blydenberg Campground. We've completed the six mile loop around Stump Pond. Thursday night, 5.25 p.m. It was raining for the last 24 hours. The sun finally came back out. So, I'm starting a fire, get things dried out. Fire's starting slowly, I'm in no hurry. Got the boat ready for tomorrow. And we're not gonna open up the ramp tonight. It's been chilly. Mm, my good girl.
Welcome. It's Saturday night at about 10 minutes to 7. We've already had supper, but we had a nice contact with one of our neighbors. We've been sharing some equipment and supplies and advice. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm chewing. This is really delicious. What did they call it? A poop? A papoose? I can't papoose? Hear it, but, um, it's delicious. It's two corn tortillas with pork and cheese inside, and this really delicious sweet dipping sauce and cabbage on the side. Very nice. Now, normally they said they would make this all together, mm -hmm. but, but they were just weren't sure if we would like it enough, so they made it like this for us. Nice people that came right across the street, but they got a really cool Mustang right there. You notice that when they pulled in. We have a Boy Scout jamboree going on on that side. Bella's doing some begging, as always, drooling a little bit, I think. One by one, the trailers leave, leaving us alone again in Blydenburg. There should only be a handful of people here by the end of the day. Well, our day's coming. We'll be packing up on Wednesday, getting out of here, too. It's hot. It's Sunday, about 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm heading out to the lake to do some paddling. Careful. Alright, not bad. After a long weekend, my canoe is sinking oh. deeper into the water today. <laughs> nice origami kayaks, by the way. Beautiful. Thank you. First time out. Oh, they look like fun. Thank you, you too. Canoeing on Stump Pond in Blydenburg County Park. I heard that there are some trout in here, or bass maybe. I know in some, some of the other sections of this park, you can fish for brook trout. I saw that sign on my hike around the pond last week. It is 337. Beautiful Suffolk County, New York, in the heart of Long Island. Thanks for being here, everybody. Not sure if this is an island. Oh, it's wow, it's all grown in. No Something I like about a a swampy area, a wetland. The wind is just taking the boat where it wants to go. And I'm gonna let it. If I stay close to this landmass, the wind isn't so bad. And if you go that way there's a, a old homestead and a barn and where the old mill used to be. Historical stuff up there. We'll go check that out another time. Well, I paddled as far into the wind as I could go. It's got to be a very natural area, very low water, so I don't want to disturb things too much, so I'm trying to stay out in the middle. None of the birds are um, breeding right now. I don't want to be hassling them at all. So we'll stay in the middle here. I've got the wind at my back. The sun's off to my left. This is, this is my home. This is the kind of place that I grew up in. I feel very much at home here. I can smell my childhood on my hands. Thanks for listening. We'll be back. Just recovered a little bit of tackle hanging up in the trees up here. What I'm seeing. We were all the way down there past that point. They're all little little fishing points all along that shoreline. This is the more natural side. There is a trail up there. We did it the other day. I just can't say it enough that we are like smack dab in the middle of the largest metropolis in the world. Look at what I see here. Managed to save a little bit. Granted, there's a little bit of car noise, some planes flying overhead. Yeah, we're in the suburbs. But. 
camera shy. Yeah. It's dinner time. I have to go start my generator again. Charge the batteries. The same routine as always. That's canoeing. At Blydenburg. County full here, I'm sure. To get that trailer out of that spot, I'm gonna have to back up to here and then pull it out that way. Thanks for pushing on that button and spending some time with us here at Blydenburg Campground in Hot Fog, Long Island. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications so I can send you a notice when I upload my next video. Leave a comment below so I know that you were here. Have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this content, give us a quick thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed it. It really helps the channel to grow and be shown to more people around the world. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. It won't take long. I just asked the ranger, he said 11 o'clock to check out, but I'm in no hurry. Locks, locked, chains are good, emergency, lights are plugged, this is covered, gas is off, batteries charged, locked cabinet, locked main door, all the windows are locked, we didn't use the gas station, locks are good. Eyes look good. Slide went in nicely. It did some nice repair work on the slide. Let's hit the road. It's been a heck of a two weeks here. It's time to leave. We are in Hop Hog, Long Island in Suffolk County. And we're heading home. Now I gotta concentrate on this road. You watch these trees. They're growing into the street. So you gotta be extra, extra careful when going down this road. And I don't care who's coming the other way. I'm not running my trailer into a darn tree. This is a bad turn here. Very bad visibility. <laughs>